When I first started drinking coffee, I hated the flavor. I did it only for the caffeine until I had a pour over and that changed everything. Six years later, I'm obsessed and I think I've perfected my technique and wanna share that with you guys today. I hope you enjoy. All right, so to begin, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our water started because we don't wanna sit around and wait for it to boil and kinda of just turn it on and forget about it. Then we'll move on over to our coffee station over here and start to measure out our coffee beans. I like to use 25 grams of coffee beans in my cup. Some people use 28, some people use 30. It's really a personal preference with how bold and strong you want your coffee. You'll notice here on the scale, I try and get as close to 25 grams as possible. And the reason for this is all about consistency. That way I can make the same good quality cup of coffee day in and day out. You really wanna avoid eyeballing how many coffee beans you use every day because you never know if it's too many beans or too little beans. And what happens if you make an amazing cup of coffee? You have no way to reproduce it the following day. So after we measure out our beans, it's time for the grind. And the coarseness that we're looking at is something similar to like old eraser shavings. Think back to that pencil you had in grade school and after you erase a bunch of stuff, all the pink eraser shavings you got on your desk. That's the coarseness that we're going for. So while the coffee is grinding down, we're gonna set up our pour over station. At the very bottom, we have the coffee pot. The white thing, that's the Hario V60 coffee dripper. And then the brown thing, that's just a brown paper filter. And we're gonna add this to the coffee dripper. As you're getting your filter ready, the only thing to really call out is to make sure that the seam right there, that thing is flat before you add it into the filter. And just like that, we have boiling water. Uh, be careful not to burn your hands because I normally do. These things get really hot and there's really no easy way to carry it. So we're gonna bring this over to our coffee station and we're gonna wet our filter and then warm up our ceramic uh, V60 cone and the coffee pot. And the reason for this is twofold. If you pour hot coffee into a cold filter, a cold coffee pot and a cold mug, that's gonna impact the overall flavor. So by pouring the coffee through the filter and into the pot, we're essentially heating it up to the same temperature that the coffee will be. The second thing you wanna do is wet the filter so that you remove the paper taste and it doesn't infuse with your coffee. A lot of people skip this step and I think it's absolutely essential to a great consistent cup of coffee. So we're gonna bring the coffee setup back to our scale and zero it out so we can measure the ground up beans and make sure that that is exactly 25 grams. This takes us to the bloom, which is probably the most important step in terms of making a great cup of coffee. What you're gonna wanna do is take twice as much water to beans. So if you have 25 grams of beans, we're gonna take 50 grams of water, and we're gonna slowly pour it over the beans in small circles for 30 seconds and let it sit. This allows the beans to release carbon dioxide. If we didn't release this carbon dioxide, it would cause your coffee to taste a little bit sour. It also prevents the water from infusing with the natural flavors and oils of the beans, which really impacts the overall flavor of the cup of coffee. A little patience here goes a long way. Once the 30 seconds have passed, we're gonna go and continue to pour the rest of the water in up until 250 to 300 grams of total weight. If you're looking for something a little more bold in flavor, then stick to 250. But if you want something a little more mellow, try going all the way up to 350. Really, this is just a personal preference, so experiment and figure out what works best for you. Now that all the water's been added to the coffee beans, it's time to sit back and wait and let the V60 do its thing. The, uh, the coffee will drip down into the pot, and we are almost ready to enjoy this wonderful cup of coffee that we just made. This is one of those rare moments in the kitchen where cleanup is super simple. Basically take your uh, coffee grinds and your coffee filter, throw it in your food and yard waste or your trash, and you're ready to go. And here we are, time to enjoy that great cup of coffee. These steps might seem confusing and overwhelming at first, but after a little bit of practice, it's gonna be all part of your morning routine and you won't even have to think about it. I hope you enjoy.